It is June 20th, 2023, 7 1 p.m. Calling to order the Wayne Township Board of Trustees meeting. Um, you have a signed in? Please sign in. Can I have a roll call, please, Joe? Call roll. Ms. Golden? Here. Mr. Jacobs? Here. Mr. Patrick? Here. All president and county. All right. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, please, I need an approval for the meeting minutes from the previous meeting, June 6th. I'll so, make all these, sir. So moved. Okay. I second. Yeah, you have to second. I was okay. I can do that. All, all right. those in favor, say if I say aye. Aye. We made changes to the post agenda. All right, we will start off with Mr. Camera on Road Department report. Uh, good evening, board. Good evening. <laughs> How are you? Um, doing well. Uh, we did. We're about. We have. We're about halfway through with the second round of mowing, getting ready for the uh, uh, Independence Day holiday coming up. Uh, things are looking good. Um, everything else is kind of steady as she goes. I uh, got a phone call uh, verifying that uh, of the Corwin Road uh, closure starting around the 5th uh, for the realignment of the Force Main sewer and water and all that jazz. Gonna, they're going to do an open cut across Corwin Road. They've already started grub and clearing there next to the bridge. So. I'm sure that will be, the signs are up um, uh, you know, on both sides of it or whatever. I, if you get any phone calls, I'm sure my phone, my phone hasn't rung yet, but I anticipate it. Um, Do you know if the uh, multi-purpose path is being closed? Are they cutting that way? Have you heard? They'll, I have not heard, but I can, I will, I'm fairly confident in assuming that they will be uh, cutting the bike path right, as well. Right, I think that's okay. To, to get that over there. So, other than that, that's all I have. I'll stand by to report the way for it. And unless you guys have anything you need to pass along to me, we're just mm -hmm. kind of steady as she goes. I haven't gotten a pre-con meeting yet uh, for our chip seal. Uh, I'm hoping to hear something here pretty soon, but uh, I, I didn't get a chance to call uh, down to the engineer's office today, but uh, that's on my list for tomorrow. I was out at the 380 and Roxanne and Brunton Road, and they are ship sealing out there. Not sure who it is. Right. Um, on State Route 380, so it's State is, so I don't know if they're yeah. on the same I was out there also. It looks like a finer stone than we use. Yeah, I think they're they're putting down probably nines and then putting a fog seal at the top of it. Okay. You can see the other spray on the other lane and then striping it all in one right. pass. As far as, I, as far as I know, the contractor that got the bid for Warren County did not get the other two counties that they were working in, Allen and Paulding, was the other, the other counties that they had gotten. And they were coming to us as soon as they got done there. And we were going to be first to be done in Warren County. Since, I'm, since we're under the, we're kind of under a time constraint and under the gun with uh, the micro seal coming behind it, so. All right. We'll see. All right. we'll see <laughs> More to come. Yeah. <laughs> She'll be updated to next week. All Thank right. you, sir. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, moving on to the fire department report, Chief Paul Shear. Hello. Hello. So we've got a few applicants went out this week. Uh, got one back yesterday, so I'm working on that one. So. The other ones come back, we'll have about four to look at. Okay, great. So, That's good news. Uh, got a new applicant, a signed contract, and new business. Uh, parts to repair the air leak, they're on back order. They said it's three week lead time. And Seagrave, the salesman, called me the other day, well, yesterday. He's going to go to the factory, going to send us pictures. He said the frame and, and the cabs laid down. Uh, they had questions about the striping, the black stripe that goes around it. And that's all I know about it. Oh, I've got. Good. 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 Good
on the BZA last week, um, had one that was denied and um, for another accessory building and one that was approved for an addition. Um, and tonight there's a resolution on the agenda to reappoint one of the members that's pretty new on the um, on the BZA because his um, he was filling a term only had a few months left and so now we'll get him into the cycle being on a five year cycle. Um, other than that, it's just the usual permits and so forth all on my Thank you. All right, moving on to Mr. Edwards on our administrator's report. Uh, good evening, board. Um, first item on the agenda is uh, requesting a work session for fire department staffing. Uh, maybe we'll talk a little bit about that after at the end of our meeting tonight. Uh, Text.gov, it's a third-party platform. Uh, it's a communication platform that opens up lines of communication with uh, local government agencies and citizens. It works 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and it easily connects you with the websites and other communi communication methods uh, through texting. And using the regular message app on any smartphone, the smart texting technology allows the citizens to ask questions and get immediate responses and find links to the information on the agency's website or addresses problems, reporting the issues, and uploads to phones. Put a description of it in your packet, uh, set to a couple tutorials with the company on it. I don't think it has any, any real merit for us for the price that they quote us on it. I thought it was going to be a lot cheaper. Um, I mean, I think it is kind of neat. Uh, they would work with us for a couple months and set up all the pre-programmed. You, you, you use like two words, like if you wanted reading agendas or whatever, and then it would text you the, the link right to that, and it would take you to it. And you know, so you could link a whole lot of stuff to it, but it's an opt-in and an opt-out type of message. So it's not going to do us any good. Like we've got to notify everybody in Sandy Run that we're going to be all working on the road today, because only the people that. Are, yeah, they yeah. opt in to receive our text, would receive it. Yeah. Um, if we sent out a bunch of texts, then it was probably going to aggravate people if we sent too much. So I just don't think it's a platform for us. But, and then the cost, like I said, I think was not what it just I would agree. I mean, we're a small enough community. We all know what's going on anyway, pretty much. <laughs> we hear it. But uh, this company, you know, they. They called me again today and I said, I got to present to my board. And I said, you know, give me a call back tomorrow. But I said, yeah. I kind of blinked the link with that. I know. It, it, it's very cool, but shiny objects are just that. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I would much rather have something you know, like the school uses or whatever where somebody wants to be notified when something's going on and, you know, we send out the message. Yeah. Or they get used to using That's our Facebook or yeah. our website. I hated spending the money we spent for sending out 250 letters, but we don't do it that often. Yeah. But it, you know, I see the can the inbound thing is is pretty cool in that people could, you know, text road issues or, or whatever else. But then you know, what's going to happen is 65% of them or better are going to be about roads that don't even belong to us, mm -hmm. and then the other 35% is going to be. Uh, you know, just goofy stuff just, or stuff that right. just it has nothing to do with us whatsoever. Right. So right. then it becomes more of a headache than what it's worth. Right. 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 That. Yeah, who's going to maintain it? Who's going to, yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. No. Thank you for concurring with yes. me. Yes. <laughs> but I at least ought to present it to you. So. Uh, Independence Day celebration. And again, that's going to be Saturday, July 1st. Parade begins at noon. Concert by Centennial Park at 7. In the evening, and then fireworks at 10. Uh, Chamber of Commerce has moved to their yeah. old office, which is now the new office at 174 South Main Street. Uh, so, after 20 years, they've moved back to where they were. 
And then uh, safety council, uh, we wrapped up our last program on fire extinguishers and fire safety uh, last Friday. And it's going to be moved to the second Friday of each month starting in July. And next year we'll go up to 3% premium rebate instead of 2%. Mm -hmm. And that's really all I have. Thank you very much. All right. And picking up text by text by itself, what website stats? Yeah, uh, so so things are actually moving again, which is good, but um, I was actually just looking at my calendar to say probably the second meeting in July, and I know I keep pushing things out, but life's been a little insane. Um, so yeah, I will keep you guys updated. What, you think in the second meeting in July you might have something? Yep. All right. When are we, like, under a time crunch where something is running, like our current is running out? I'm trying to remember. Yeah. They said they weren't going to support it and that it could possibly could go down, but I've not had any problems with it, so I don't think there's going to be any issues. Anytime you want to phase down a service like that, they, they basically tell everybody, we're shutting down, and then it takes two years for them to go through a really deep lap. I did notice today when I posted something that I did, I had to delete quite a bit of stuff. They wouldn't really let me put anything new on but said I'm at a maximum on it. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we won't run into that issue with this new system. It's all, I mean, it's, it's all ours and it's all, yeah. Forever and ever. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah, and this wasn't a big deal. I mean, it just went back in and cleaned out stuff that was more than a year old. It was on the announcements. And, Any other old business? I don't think so. New business? Questions or concerns of the bills we signed? No. I have none. none. Um, yeah, so, since I wasn't here last time, did we pay the fire, fire truck? Yes, we did. Okay. The two, the two invoices, yes, okay. we did. Okay, that was last time, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, all right, moving on to legislation. Resolution 2023-42. Approve the acceptance of hiring of Samuel J. Grassi? Gracie. Gracie yeah. to the Wayne Township Fire Department as a firefighter 2 slash EMTB. Hill is on uh, Route 73 over by Hill Spring with Stephen Chase at the subdivision over there. He just left his job at Double Day Grill. He likes to cook. He's going in as a job as an ER tech right now. Uh, he did his clinical time with the city of Dayton. While he was there, he did see some overdoses and suicides and a lot of EMS stuff. He did clinical time at Grandview, so he got to see a lot of stuff there. Uh, really no family in fire and EMS. Most of his family was in medical of some type. His grandfather's the one that pushed him to get into uh, fire and EMS. He has uh, applications in at Clear Creek and Xenia Fire as full-time firefighters. Uh, well, he, he just needs to get some experience and he has absolutely no experience uh, he's a hands-on person and he likes to golf when he's not working so okay so he's looking for run time and see how the fire service works so he also asked he would have a major concern if he got hired on one of the departments that he could still run here to get more experience so sure it's good so we'll allow it yeah we'll allow that if i had to put a little uh tea out back or something for him. <laughs> All right, I'll make a, res I'll make a uh, motion to approve resolution 2023-42. And I will second. Okay, I have a motion to Ms. Colvin, second by Mr. Jacobs to adopt resolution 2023-42. Call roll there on Ms. Colvin. Yes. Mr. Jacobs. Yes. Mr. Patrick. Yay. His resolution is here adopt, hereby adopted this 20th day of June, 2023. Okay, resolution 2023-43 is entering into a continuing education contract with Samuel Gracie, same one we just talked about, for a parent program as a firefighter to EMT with Wayne Township Fire Department. This he, was Sinclair, right? Yeah, he showed an interest in wanting to become a medic 
and I think that he's willing to sign a con the contract with that. To, and we t explained to him that the contract starts after his certification, so it takes him 15 months to get a certification, basically. So you have to sign a three-year contract after that, you know, to be here three years after that, it'll pay it back. So, okay. uh, you know, that paramedic class is now eight to ten thousand dollars. So, and the con, you know, that right now we we call for three years and volunteer no less than twelve hours a week or forty-eight hours a month. Okay. Um, and. Gus, would this be part of our ARPA? Because I thought we approved some money in ARPA funds to be to pay for some firefighter. As long as we get it paid out. Uh, yeah. For, for 20, 2024. It depends when he would roll into it. He is. Uh, he's in the process of now. He told me the other day that he is in the process of getting enrolled in that fall medic class. Okay. So. Is it, is those payments for that go, all come at the beginning, or do they, they come each semester? Okay. So I think the Sinclair runs now five semesters, so you get paid every time they enter into one at the beginning of it. So, so it'd be as we get the invoice, we could then do yeah. a resolution. Okay. Well, we can, yeah. we could, so all this paid out through 25, so we could actually enter in all of it into the I agree with that. So, I have a. Anybody want to make a motion to approve this resolution? I'll make a motion to approve this resolution. All right. I'll second. Sorry about the typo. That's all right. Okay. I have a motion by Mr. Jacob, second by Ms. Colvin to adopt resolution 2023-43. Call roll the on. Mr. Patrick? Yay. Mr. Jacobs? Yay. Ms. Coleman? Yes. This resolution is survived adopted this 25th of June 2023. Resolution 2023-44 is reappointing Steve Doors to our Wayne Township Board of Zoning Appeals for a five-year term. Um, and like you said before, he was only he was only a short time period just to fill out the remainder, and now he's going to start the five years. He's been showing up to the meetings. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Participating. Good. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah that's amazing. <laughs> All right. I'll make a motion to approve resolution 2023 44. Second. They have a motion by Mr. Jenkins, second by Mr. Patrick to adopt resolution 2023-44. Call a roll, they're on. Mr. Jacobs? Yay. Mr. Patrick? Yay. And Ms. Colvin? Yes. This resolution is hereby adopted this the 20th day of June 2023. Ms. Chairman, may I make a request? <clears throat> um, yes, sir. Um, you know, with, with any of these appointments, you know, you know, recognizing we get the reports ahead of time, is it possible that before we have something in resolution form that we could have a work session or discussion about these things? Um, on the Board of Zoning Appeals and the, yeah, yeah, and yeah. the other board? Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Zoning Commission, Board of Zoning Appeals, I mean, I, you know, to me it's, it's, a little strange that as an elected official, I I get the resolution on the agenda. That's the first time I hear about it or see it. I would just prefer that we have some discussion about these types of things in the future before it's. I agree. Codified. Yeah, yeah. So you'd like to have like a one session like the the one before it gets put onto the. Yeah, yeah I, I, I mean just just some communication that we could go through and say. <coughs> This is, this is, I mean, a five year term has implications beyond us, you us, and yes, me, yeah. I mean, anybody. So, yeah. so it's just one of those things where um, I prefer that we have a little more foresight into those things, a little more discussion, and it not just be 
Yeah, and I think too on the, I mean, but on both those boards, there's no reason we can't come as trustees come to the meetings and see how they're performing. Also, Correct. you know, instead of depending on. Well, I like what Stacy did Stacey. too. She was able to rotate them in a certain cycle so you can see when they're coming up. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. good. Yeah. I think the work session is good. I think you can also look at a yearly evaluations too. Correct. When yeah. we look at the zoning code as it comes into play, what what works for zoning code, what doesn't? How does the member how their Tendences and stuff like that too. Yeah. So, yeah. Actually, I think they're good ideas. I would just like to say too, though, that it's important to realize too, with having the alternates, there's a reason we have alternates, right? Because sometimes the people will miss. So it's worked out really well to have an alternate that has come every time, even though you do have board members that sometimes have, you know, a conference or something yeah. that they have to miss. So, so Mike Wages so, has been coming every time too. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but we do have, you know, here and there yeah. somebody missing. So I just want to say, you know, that is, you know, a reason for having an alternative right. to, to allow some of that life to happen a little bit. So yeah. it's worked out well. That's good. All right. All right. We Thank will you. do that in the future. Okay. Resolution um, 2023-45, accepting the resignation of um, Daria Reich from the Wayne Township Fire Department. She's moved to Arizona. Yes. So that yeah, is a little far to job of mine to go out south, go out there. there she had some other personal issues that I don't feel need to put it up in the air, but... Uh, yeah. <coughs> All right, and she's... you. Of the three, you were able to communicate with her. Huh? You were able to communicate with yes. her. Okay. Make a motion to adopt resolution 2023-45. I will second. Okay, to a motion by Mr. Patrick, second by Mr. Jacobs to adopt resolution 2023-45. Call roll the on. Mr. Patrick? Yay. Ms. Colvin? Yes. And Mr. Jacobs? Yay. This resolution is hereby adopted this 20th day of June. All right, um, resolution 2023-46 is accepting the termination of Martin's role from the Wayne Township Fire Department. So has there been any communication with him? No, he was uh, he was gonna send me a letter okay. uh, a couple months ago and never has. So I put him and the next one off, you know, hoping to get the letter before I present it to you. And uh, as of even today, he has not sent me that okay. letter. So it's really, this is just cleaning up basically our yeah. roles. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve resolution 2023-46. I will second. Okay, I have a motion by Ms. Colvin, second by Mr. Jacobs to adopt resolution 2023-46. Call roll there on. Mr. Jacobs. Yay. Ms. Colvin. Yes. Mr. Patrick. Yay. This resolution is hereby adopted just the 20th day of June, 2023. And resolution 2023-47 is accepting the termination of Clifton Lamb from the Wayne Township Fire Department. Same thing with him. He, you know, he said he had time. They, they don't have time. That is, you know, his business is, is good, which is great. Mm -hmm. uh, he's in uh, a, a side hobby, and he's put a lot of time in that. And now it's got to the point that you know he said I'd get you a letter and he hasn't yet. And uh, plus he don't have enough continuing education to recertify. Okay. So. All right. I'll make a motion to get to accept the resolution 2023-47. I will second. Okay, I have a motion Ms. Colvin, second by Mr. Jacobs to adopt resolution 2023-47. Call roll the wrong Mr. Col Ms. Colvin. Yes. Mr. Jacobs. Yay. And Mr. Patrick. Abstain. Yeah, thank you. All right. I will, let's see if we can get through a few more things before the 7.30 budget hearing. No, that's not tonight. Oh. July 5th. July 5th. Yeah. It's not July 5th yet. Okay. Do <laughs> that later. Shock me there. I was going to say. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I have one other thing for new business if you Okay. Know, or other or whatever. Yes. Last meeting you uh, passed a resolution for Sarah Onskew. Onskew is how you say her name. Okay. So, uh, but she did complete her 
physical agility with blown out times. Good. And here it is, the contract and everything for her. Great. I want to get that signed before that. Tight loose ends. And the day that we approved her, the next day she came in and did her orientation and stuff, and she had five or six runs that day. Oh wow! Yeah. And she's picked up like eight shifts. Holy cow! This month already. Awesome. So, right. yeah. She's a go getter. Yep, she is a really like I said, and we talked about her last meeting. She yeah. is really upbeat. And <laughs> Does she have friends or family? Yeah. <laughs> They're interested. Uh, yeah. But she has jumped on real big friends with uh, Emily Bassett. Mm -hmm. So. There's two girls about the same age, so. Good, good to have camaraderie. Did yep, you, they, uh, yeah. yesterday, matter of fact, uh, Sarah was on yesterday, and Emily come here because she had nothing to do, and they went over her orientation stuff over the vehicle. So they, they cooked lunch together and had chicken fried rice on the Blackstone outside. Nice. Yeah. Went through the compartments on the squad, and she's ready for her day three already. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay, so no budget here. Um, correspondence. Do you have any correspondence besides you winning your tax lottery? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you have them? Daryl, any correspondence? Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I have one piece of correspondence. It's from Enbridge. Yeah. And it's concerning I find safety see. information, same as you did. Yeah. There's a little. Um, did you get one of these also? Oh, there's a magnet in here too. Yes, I, a magnet. I okay. Did. Yeah. Anything? Uh, anything did you just a couple of letters from Energy Harbor about our new update rates for our electric, which we already know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. that's good. Um, also, I have um, the Village of Waynesville will be passing a resolution tonight authorizing the village manager to enter into a multi jurisdictional agreement with Wayne Township related to the Corwin Avenue retaining project and declaring it an emergency. So uh, they're following through with the discussion I had with them on that. So, um, Thank you. That's great. Yeah. Good to see the collaboration. Yes. So just to tell Diane that I saw, we saw Alter Fiber it's coming through our area now. After spectrum, oh, I don't want to hear this. I, well, I, they're they're more around, so at least there might be some chance. I've heard they you guys are on the other side. I've heard they bought out Bridgewater. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Yes. Yeah. So, but the the guy that that went down through there was talking about he was helping an engineer, but they're looking at pole attachments instead of just going underground. Oh, I see. So they were looking at all the deep canal like they do poles and stuff. I can see which routes that they're going to go to go do it. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Yes. All right, hopefully they make it. <laughs> I hope they do too. <laughs> okay, um, elected officials' comments. Okay, what's my comments? That was your comment? Mm -hmm. okay. um, nothing, I guess I want to say is remind everybody that I know it's a little ways away, but August 8th we have a special election in Ohio. Is everybody aware of that? There's a, um, yes. Yes. about the, um, so it would be a little tougher to change the Constitution in Ohio. So hopefully everybody does their research and votes on that. That'd be good. good. All right, uh, work session. We want to talk about our fire department for the fall, right? Uh, are you picking a date? Yeah. Is that what you're wanting? Or, huh? Are you wanting to pick a date or talk about it tonight? If we got time to discuss. No, we we got two more resolutions that we have to pass. We're going to get uh, on in by. I think it's August seventh or eighth or ninth. I can't remember the cutoff date. Ninety days ahead of the election. Um, and so we did get the millage certification, and we are at thirty three hundred forty six million eight hundred eighty thousand. Um, Couple things that uh, you know, pretty much everything's standard. I think it was last year. A uh, couple of things I'd like to point out. One is that we have hired a person full time to fill in shifts, and this individual is applying at other departments. So, uh, you know, how long we'll retain that individual? Don't know. Uh, 
again, it's probably because we are lower paid than other departments that are hiring. Uh, it's also probably not the most desirable shift. Um, so that's, then I think we're also probably have some uh, times where we're probably having trouble getting coverage. I don't know if Chief wants to elaborate any on that, but uh, yeah, I just feel that we are, unless we start getting an abundance of additional members coming on, then, uh, you know, we're going to, you know, we may start to struggle. And I, I guess I just hate to, hate to, hate to wait. Uh, I'd like to see the board try to run the levy again. There's two things I'd like to see done different. Uh, one, I think that if we're going to commit to bringing on a few more pay time personnel, that we do a continuing levy rather than a, a five-year levy. Um, only due to the fact that if you're going to bring on some people, then you want to guarantee that those people are going to have jobs and, and stay. And uh, yeah, maybe we could change the language where that village is only for uh, pay, yeah, payroll. Uh, the other thing that I think with this new evaluation and everything, I think we've dropped the village down instead of asking for two mills additional. Uh, I think we could ask anywhere for maybe one point, I hate to get down to 1.8 because we have a levy that's already that number. Uh, but I think 1.9 or 1.95 would still give us as much as what we were looking at before, even though you know, prices have gone up and the business have gone up. So a lot of departments are bringing on firefighter bees right now. Basic purposes starting around fifty-five to fifty-eight thousand, and we're about ten thousand shy of that. Right. right now, I got four people that's applied the next door to Clear Creek, and through the grapevine, three of them probably going to get hired. And those dates are looking to start September 1st. So. Right. And, you know, I think we all know we can't keep up with the big dollar departments with, that, with our funding. Mm -hmm. we just right. Co correct. Yeah. However, we asked the public and they said no. And to date, I can't really say that there's been any significant material changes that I know of that we can go back to the public and say, hey, we tried X, we tried Y, and we tried Z. Please give us more money. I, I, I hate to say it, but I almost fear that the public has to experience difficulty in service. And I know that's not what you want, Chief. That's not what we want. But, but I don't think it will register the, the, the dire nature of the situation until it happens, I, I just, I, I don't know, <coughs> to me, um, the economy is not better than it was last year. Um, you know, private industry is not better this year than it was last year. Um, I just, I don't feel that we are in a better position to go ask him again this year. That's my opinion. I respect the opinion of anybody else. I mean, I, I, I just, and I've been subject to change. I mean, convince me differently. Has there been any movement at the state level with any of that stuff that came out of the fire marshal? No, they put their preliminary review out, what, six months ago or so, and nothing else on it. I mean, they dropped certification level, recertification, you know, from 54 hours down to 36 hours, and they lowered the paramedic recertification from 80, 84 hours down to 75 hours, but that's, you know, that's, that's not going to help retain people again, so it might help with you, but, you know. Maybe the general public doesn't know how bad it is trying to get manpower. They need, we need to send something out. Uh, 
residents. Lawrence, we had four shifts that we basically put the units out of service. April, we had, I think, four, and May, three or four it was. So about three or four units. Uh, this month, we haven't put anything out of service as far as the squad. And so, so we had a crew. So, so how about this, Chief? Is it possible that on our social media um, that, that you could post a calendar that shows red spots where we mm -hmm. lack any coverage, yellow if we are, there you go. Yeah. and then green if we're in good shape? And, mm -hmm. and that way we regularly communicate that. Maybe it will inspire some people to go through and, and volunteer. Maybe it will inspire some people to say, oh, oh wow, if I had a heart attack today, I'd have to wait for Clear Creek come and get me. And then when, when the units go out, they go to the closest agency. Right. And that's all GPS. Right. right. So, I mean, look at the mutual aid report. It can go to you know, Spring Valley, Sugar Creek, uh, Washington Township, and Clear Creek. Uh, matter of fact, Lebanon the other day on the skydiving accident. So, it pulls Lebanon before it does Clear Creek because of where they're located now. I do, I mean, I see what Clear Creek puts out for, they, they do monthly reports that they put out on their social media and it has a lot of, to me it has a lot of information about what has happened and I know they're a lot bigger than we are, but. Well, they got a full time, two full time ladies that does that. Too. Okay, that's what and I was wondering. they got two administrative they, assistants that okay. does all this stuff. Okay, I, mean, you know. I was wondering how all that works. Yes, I mean, that's, yeah. yeah. They're paying someone 60,000 a year to do that, right. two people, so. Uh, I'm not saying that it can't be done. It's just you know. I know. I'm just wondering if we can if we pick through what they would have what they have put out and see if there's anything that we could kind of more simply do that well, would be well, effective. I mean, for our monthly reports that we get, I, I mean, yeah, you slice those up a little bit or pare those down mm -hmm. or just republish it. I mean, I'm, you know, it's the public information. I know, information. but when it's just numbers, I mean, it's it's hard when it's just. Well, well, numbers like I even have a hard time looking at your reports. I mean, you say year after year, but it's like I have to sit there and figure out. I'm like, is this better or worse? And <laughs> yeah, hundred sixty thousand dollar year end, and then I guess. Yeah. 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 I mean, you know, people go. There, regardless how much you put out there, they're not going to. It's not going to affect them. It's not going to. It's not going to jar, jar them until it actually hits them. You know, and I'll put the case in the scenario that I'm going to refer to right here at this office when we had a fatal accident right outside here and Stacy and I were out and it seemed like forever for I think to get here. And who was the first on the scene? It was Clear Creek uh, WG. It was Clear Creek SWAT. Uh, we did get our, our rescue there. Now, with that being said, it wasn't because we were out of service. We were on another run. But I mean, it's essentially the same thing. You know, we can't get more than, than one unit out most of the time. And those times that we can't get a unit out, then it may be there are people that are sitting there, you know, when is somebody going to get here? You know, and it does seem like, you know, like forever. I, I know, and I don't know which month it was, but there was one of those days that Chief Shear was talking about. You know, and it, it's all coincidental, but, you know, timing is everything. We only had one person on, uh, on squad that morning, and it started, I think, about 7.30 in the morning, yes. and between 7.30 and 11.30, we had four runs, about 45 minutes apart, boom, 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 boom. We didn't make any of them, and the last one was a bad one, or I don't think, I don't, I don't know how it ended up, but it was the worst part. They weren't just, you know, I got a headache call, I mean, they were, and so we had one person running uh, from scene to scene to scene just to stabilize the scene until we got another, you know, another crew here from another department. And, you know, but then the, the public's got to realize too that we may go three days and not have hardly anything. But, uh, and, we, and we can't cover, you know, we realize we can't cover everything. But I think it's, it speaks volumes when we, if we have something happen, I, the reason I'm promoting this is because I don't want to be the one that's got to sit here and say, you know, we didn't have anybody 
even scheduled because we couldn't get anybody to, to run. And so, you know, and the public doesn't know about it. So if nothing else, if we have to publish the fact that we do have some bright outs, then I guess let's publish it. I know that's something that we didn't, we've never done before, publish that fact. Uh, and again, it's not that we have that many, but it's, you, you just don't know when you're going to have it, when the next one's going to be. And, you know, I don't know, it's, uh, I know the economy is not the greatest. And how, how far in advance do you know that you're not going to have anybody on those ships? Is it the day before, like, or is it the weeks before? I page up to the, out to the very last minute. I mean, I start page and then I call and try to switch the people around. And I mean, like right now, I'm working on Saturday nights and Saturday, Sunday day and Sunday night. And this week, now, Sunday night will probably, and day will probably be covered because I'll end up pulling the battalion off and putting them on there. So we'll have that. But Sunday night right now, it's just one person. So is that something you think you could do? I mean, update, is it? Is it going to be a pain because all of a sudden you have somebody and you now have to go change your social media post or something? You know what I mean? Well, well I mean, that's what I'm trying to figure even out. historically, if we just have a calendar, you know, with, with, with monthly report, again, if you get your crayons out and just color in the days that are you that thinking, would probably are you be the best. Post tense or pre? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I, I would say post. post. Oh, post. I say. Okay, I think post. After post. Fact. You want to wait till after the fact. You don't want to say something that says, "Okay, got to run." Okay, I think it's Hey, but they're going to have a heart attack today. Well, they're going to come back at you too. It's like, well, you should staff it. Why aren't you staffing it? Why can't you get somebody staffing? Why can't you force somebody into that? Right, right, right. It's no different than the same thing with with the line guys and stuff like that. I mean, there's guys that take their days off. There's guys that come in. You know, you got a different mentality now, and you got different things that are happening. Um, and nothing wrong; they all deserve their time off and stuff like that. But you try to work a schedule and try to figure it out. Well, you know, they have ways that they can. You know, they got emergencies too. So, but I would do it on the post side of it and see what we have on that thing as being how many shifts that we can't fill or how many shifts that are coming up empty during the month. You can take a stats of that as you go through and say, okay, is this getting better, or getting worse? Um, you know, your retention. How long do we keep these new? I mean, do they stay for a little while? Do they stay a year and then leave? Do they do two years? Do most they... most people say three to six years. Okay. Three to six years. So you're looking at a cycle of people coming through. So that's a whole cycle of people that you're losing that experience level, mm -hmm. the knowledge of, of knowledge as a township, but the roads, the houses, the people, the customers that they that they deal with. You know, you have a, a crew that goes out there and deals with the same customer multiple times. <coughs> and you can't know where to go, what to do. You know, it saves time, right? It's all about time. You know, you talk about forcing, there's only one person that we can force. That's what I'm yeah. saying. I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, and yes. right now, I don't think he's going to be here because I think he's one that's leaving. So. I think it's tough, right? Yeah. yeah. You get uh, for our part time hours in 2019, we had 4,028 hours. And that's why we want to get the extra people in. Uh, 2020, so we, we had 5,840 like part time hours. 21, we had 3,565 part time hours. Uh, last year, we had 6,275 part time hours. And through May 11th, we've had almost 2,000 part-time hours. What we do, we, we can't get a shift, we throw out to everybody and say, hey, instead of being a volunteer, getting $5 standby, come in the station and get from $16 to $18 an hour. Of course, so, you do that. You do all of that. Yeah. That's what I, I offer to anybody, anybody, always regardless that. of what that they had the four or five. You know, supposed to have four shifts a month before you're eligible for part-time. But to me, I've been trying to fill the squad because of that. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I understand. Yeah. Got to entice them. Yeah, you, you probably see that there. Yeah, yeah. I see yeah. the schedule. Right. So here's, here's the only question I would have, too, is that I, I go back to Miami Township just did this past year, um, election cycle, and what they did is they, we have two levies going on right now. Is there any way that we can combine the two levies down to one? Still have the same type of verbiage, right? But do, is that a possibility? Is it a possibility to maybe get rid of one of them to do something a little bit different with the other? I mean, I know we talked about different variations, but somehow we gotta increase the money, but then make it more appealing to the to the voters as well. I mean it's just I'm just saying. So, so here's here's where the rubber is meeting right now, okay? So how far are you willing to roll the dice? Okay, so so we're on a time crunch in order to be able to get this on the ballot. 
to potentially get it passed by the electorate. If we just go on the camp, the advertising campaign of the post, you know, or whatever, and we get past the deadline okay. date. One month to advertise, basically. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we've got to wait another year yeah. before we can get it on the ballot. So, perfectly valid, perfectly valid opinions all the way around. My personal opinion, for whatever it's worth. <laughs> Go with the can go with the advertising campaign on your post uh, you know your post monthly availabilities or brownouts or however you, you want to advertise it, but still put it on the ballot. And I think uh, Mr. Edwards, uh, you know, looking at the numbers, uh, you know, you know, run it out. You know, you, you tried for two, run it for a one nine. I'm thinking. And but but don't let the. Don't let it get. Don't let the time get past, and then you've got to wait another I another election cycle. Till spring, till spring time. And, well, and then, well, we have, it, it it that, and that's right. saying that there is something on, you know, in May. It's a primary next year. So yeah. Oh, okay, it is a primary. Right. Right. So that we all right. Yeah. So we're <laughs> safe there. But <laughs> at, the, I, at the beginning of this meeting, I sat over here and I listened to two trustees talk about how busy they was with their kids. Andy talking about he's got no know what's going to happen with you know the classes or the oh, yeah. tra the sports events. Uh, Mr. Patrick said here and said you know I had to leave an event early to get here. Well, that's the same thing our community's doing. The ones we have volunteering, oh yeah, they don't have time. Yeah. They do not have time. I mean, your parents are being pulled both directions. Oh yeah, from everybody. So I mean, it's you know that's just. When you're giving your time, yeah, it's, it's and, you, and, you, and you're going to be faced with a choice between going to watch your children play whatever or do whatever and going to fire call, well, it doesn't take a rocket science to figure out what's going to happen in today's society. Yeah. 25 years ago, that's different. In 2000. Because I was there 25. In yeah. 2013, we had 19,869 volunteer hours. Last year, we had 12,200, so we're down 8,000 hours in volunteer. I mean, and I got the chart here, it just keeps going down. You know, from 13, 14, 18, 427, 15, 18, 626. It's probably a chart to, to grab all the yeah. yeah. charts. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. That's, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, that's, you know, just a 12 month comparison, you know, from these years. It's, but I, you know, I, I think putting it out more on social media uh, or whatever, and, and everybody I, come I, up with some charts. And, I did ask you know. somebody on Clear Creek how they got theirs past, I don't know, whatever they did to, to be full time appeal. And he says, we, um, they did that. They, they basically put things out on social media and said how bad it was. And, you know, basically, you know, that's the only way to get people's attention. It's bad. That's it. I mean, so, yeah. Facts are facts, and the truth is the truth. Yeah. You know, they're not trying to put anything over on anyone. But also, you've got 60 guys that's in a union that helps <laughs> do that. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're looking at one or two people here maybe having to put this together. You know, I'm not and a, I know I'm not a Facebook designer in no way. I don't make very many posts. I don't, you know, I just, you know, I'm not a. There's not a lot of, there's a lot of people that don't do social media more yeah. than you think they're doing, I think. I mean, they may do it to a certain extent, but they may not do Facebook. Well, it's always having, you have to have volunteers, like you said, it's a, it's supporting staff, whether it be family members or it is somebody in the community that takes it up as a challenge to, I mean, there's, you know, some communities I see people come up as a challenge, like, like, you know, one guy came out and said, I want to do the roads, I want the roads better, so I'm coming to the meetings and, I'm starting up like community action groups and stuff like that. You know, all those little things help, but it's a matter of just, but it takes time. Like you said, volunteer time. How do we get that around to do something like that? How can somebody take that next step into it? You know, that's the hard part about it. That's, yeah, like you say, because it's, it's a community effort even get something like this passed. You know, in this room, there's four of us right now that volunteer. I mean, you know, Gus did, yeah. Gus's brother did, uh, Scott, myself. And I'm sure Dale's seen the changes over the years from, you know, just sitting back listening, you know, when he was here, you know, he just, 
you was glad to run five, six, seven, eight, run eight shifts a month. Now you have to beg for people to do four. And when Gus was here, you know, he, he might run ten a month. I <laughs> mean, you know, or more. Or, you know, you're still asked to run four, but like I say, back then you were, people just seemed to be more dedicated. If you were out with your wife or girlfriend even, and you got a fire run, I mean, you, you loved it. Uh, yeah, I can remember going on a fire when I had white pants and a white shirt on and you know, they come back, you know, we were going out somewhere and, you know, but that didn't come first, you know, your commitment to the community came first. Came you know, first, one, right. But no, it, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't hard to get coverage. I mean, I was on the road department and in the wintertime, you know, you never know when it's going to snow. I mean, you know, but if I, I just put out a page, you know, hey, I got to go fly snow, can somebody cover me? And within minutes, yeah, you got to have I, somebody would cover me. Yeah. Okay. Let me, let me back okay. up on my story one more time, because like, hey, this is this is just something. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I we can, can tell really, I can really share because you know, we felt it. Stacy felt it. You know, with this accident mentality sure. we had outside the office here, uh, we did get a rescue truck there, and guess who was on the rescue truck? Two of our road department employees that are also on the fire department. We had five OSP vehicles out here. We had one county sheriff vehicle out here, and we had one village of Waynesville officer out here. And guess who was directing traffic out here at the intersection? Our other two road department employees, Scott and Kurt. So, you know, we had all our resources at the scene, but you know they weren't they weren't enough. Uh, and, you know, and that's I don't want to say that was a minor accident. That's just a two vehicle accident. Well, in today's crash it was uh, two road department guys left thirty minutes early to get there. I mean, they had to go back to work, and get their lunch boxes in their cars, so they they came on the run and a clear creek got it so, because ours was out on another run at Southview Hospital. So. So it's, uh, you know. I, I think that, uh, to me, the problem with the last levy a little bit was that it was worded in a sense that it didn't, we had to try to explain to people that it was for, um, to hire people as full-time employees. Well, that we, we were running a renewal plus the additional, which, yeah. which really made it easy for people, you know, heck, if I wanted to, I could say, well, I'm, I'm going to, I'm supporting them. I'm voting for the renewal. It's not voting for the extra. But we also had an email that I don't think we got one email on, on a, nope. on out of the flyer and all that. That, in my opinion, I thought, well, if no one asked the question, it ought to be easy. You know, you'd think somebody would at least send an email saying, "Hey, explain this," or "You're crazy," or "You know, you're not having my support," or "You got my support," something. But I mean, that went out in the folder or in a, the magazine, and it was on a couple of little Facebook posts. So. You have to say those magazines but, got out. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so with that, I, I sort of took it, you know, no news is good news. But yeah. yeah. I well, think if, if, you, if, you, me out. if you run it alone as a separate, you know, as its own merits, then, and they say no, then you, you can't, you definitely can't argue with it. I don't know when the right time is to run it. Uh, I just, what, I'm just throwing out there that I feel comfortable being said no to by the voters at the end as opposed to not having the people and have to face the consequences when somebody gets upset because. I'd like to see, the, uh, my opinion is I, I would like to see it go on this next, and I kind of agree with the dropping it down slightly and making it wording so that it actually is for full-time employees, that it's not some general fire department type of a levy. If we could word it appropriately so that it's very specific to what it's for. And I, I do agree with the continuing levy so that we don't have to come back to this constantly. That's my opinion. And, and do the... I would like to do some public, I don't want to call it a hearing, but public meeting on it. Like public awareness. Yeah. 
and see how many people show up. I mean, uh, uh, we could do it at the firehouse. I mean, that would hold 50 or 60, but I don't know if that's a lot that would show up. I have no idea. I mean, I know Meet the Candidates at the school. None of those were uh, what I felt was well attended for the community for as many issues and different stuff was going on. I mean, they might have had 150 people there at Meet the Candidate time. <clears throat> but, you know, so, so there's something called the Pareto Principle, uh, also called the 80-20 rule. And it basically states that 80% of your results come from 20% of your effort. You know, it applies in all industries, all different situations. You know, if you go to a church, you're gonna have 20% of the volunteers that are going through and doing 80% of the work. In your situation, it's gonna be the same way. I mean, it, it, it's, you know, even in my world in e-commerce, I'm, I'm gonna have 20% of my customers that produce 80% of my revenue. So, so it's it's you know a really interesting thing. And I don't know. I you know I I think we have to go through and identify where we're going to get the biggest thing for our buck. Um, I just I just struggle with this because it's 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 one of those things that again what has changed you know do people have more money this year you know if, if people have you know a, a limited budget if they have a fixed income I, I mean what's gotten better and, and you know I'm, I'm not I'm not anti-levy, I, I want the levy, I want the money, I want us to be able to provide the service that, that, that folks expect. I'm, I'm just asking, truly, what has changed? I, I think that what Gus just said about they think they voted yes on one and no on the other, they, they feel like they did their duty. Yeah. So, but with that, both of them on there at one time. That's true too, a lot of people just got the opinion. Already paid too much tax. I know, yes. right. That's exactly. Tax right. today. Yeah. Look at your tax bill. I don't say that. Oh, I don't want no more tax. That's what I'm saying. I know, that's, but that's, that's exactly it. Yeah. That's, well, like, yeah. that's what I try to emphasize right. to people that it, the majority is going to be Yeah, to it's like 90% or something goes to schools. And, and, and what was, you know, with that Pareto principle thing is that, you know, the people that attended those, those things, those are the people that are most passionate. Those are the 20% of people that are going to go talk to their friends and talk to their neighbors that, you know, when, when the time comes along for an election, somebody gives them a call and says, hey, you know, who, who am I going for this year? Because there, there's a large swath of people that are just simply uninformed. And they trust the people that attend those types of things. So I, I think there's, there's benefit, there's value in doing some grassroots things. But we've got to schedule it. We've got to do it. You know, because we talked about it and talked about it and talked about it and talked about it to where it's like let's let's get off the pot or let's do it. You know, that's put very nicely. No, I I agree. I you know I that's just like this work session. We've talked about it for a month and a half, two months. I'm going to go off on another tangent, I guess, and that's uh, talked a lot of residents that. Love this community, love moving out here, and loved it ever since they've been out here. Not necessarily came from here, but moved out here. And you know, they say that, you know, of course, like I say, no, it's look like their taxes, property taxes, but they say that they're still a whole lot cheaper where they were before. Uh, I had some people down here at the Simple Roots dinner, whatever I was talking to, and uh, just Thanked us, thanked me to death for leaving Wayne Township be small and be rural. And I said, well, you know, we're trying, but I said, it's it's not easy because everybody wants to be here. Everybody wants to, you know, so what I got highlighted here, there are people, I don't know if you'll see this, but that's part. Uh, our class two certification uh, millage, 14 million. Fourteen and a half million dollars worth of property value mm -hmm. in commercial. Mm -hmm. We can reduce people's taxes if we get more commercial in here, but that's not what people are going to want. If people don't want that, then they're going to have to support for the services that you know they're requesting of you as a board, and 
Vanessa is me as administrator and Chief is the, you know, they got to support the services. If they can't come in and volunteer or whatever and act like a rural community and, and provide those services, then we're going to have to pay somebody to provide them for us. Uh, and the way to do that is either start building an industrial park, bringing somebody in, uh, or get more density than residential, or not provide the services, or put it on the ballot and see if they'll pay for the services. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I'm, I'm open to put it on the ballot, and, and especially if it's, it's an adjusted, you know, language is adjusted, the, the ask is adjusted, um, the format is adjusted, you know, I, I think we need to change the way that we're doing things because kicking this thing down the road every mm -hmm. five years and then going into full panic mode is just not, it's not good. It's not good. It's, it's, it, it, Correct. You know, Absolutely. I think shrink it down, put it on a continual, right, and take another swing at it with the, with the addition of the education. Correct. It, ha it I mean, has to be coupled with that. Lipscreen. Yes. Lips yes. yes. Yeah. I have to agree with that. That's what's going to have to be. Yeah. And, 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 I, and I mean, frankly, you know, there were enough people that saw on social media this, this accident and heard about this fatality out here. It may be necessary, important to tell people, hey, do you want to hear how embarrassing this was? Yeah. There's five state boys out here. Luckily, we've got a road department that's... Pleasant out going that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I mean, truly, I, I'm, I'm embarrassed. I'm, I'm embarrassed, and it's it that, that, like a really long wait. Yeah, well, of course. It, it was. It just, it just felt. Because you knew it was a bad accident. Obviously. The medic come from the career center. Yeah, I, I, and the battalion come out of 21, which is downtown Springboro. I mean, mm -hmm. I was leaving Miami Valley South because I was at physical therapy. Our squad was on the way to Miami Valley South. Yeah, and our engine was when they had the squadron. The engine was coming back from a fatal fire in Turtle Creek. So they met with one yeah, squadron. Yeah, that's right. That fire was that same day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. The issue is, is that if you want the coverage, it's no different than the power. We're dealing with it right now. You have to pay some money to have the coverage. The problem right now is they got the coverage regardless of whether it's us or somebody else. I mean, yeah. Well, they don't, it's, it's don't fail because best, yeah. if you have stuff happen in certain right. areas, I mean, yeah. Yeah. and that run becomes longer, that minute or two minutes, that I guess that's the thing is, yes, you get the run, but you get it late. Right, you get it late. And it could be too late. Well, that, that was, I mean, that's that, the thing. I, 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 I sent the two, I sent the two guys that are on the fire, I told them, go, go, go yeah. Yeah. I bug out right then, but it did, it still left me and Kurt back at the shop that we had to, I mean, we can't just leave with the shop mm -hmm. right. wide well, open and, right. and things running and whatnot. So, I mean, we tied that up and then we came up to see wherever and however we could assist. Yeah. Yeah. I handed Gus my release to go be able to go to some scene calls that yeah. he's having Stacy in the parking lot or in the yard. Yes. You know? I said, here, this is the first thing. I got released to go to some yeah. scenes. <laughs> and there's a paper on the first. I mean, because you know, up till that day, I was not supposed to go to scenes. So. And will the 1.9 be able to, um, for being continuing, it, will that be able to cover what we need to as well? I mean, you know, last year we planned that uh, it would bring in 600,000, 600, and we said back then that 600,000 would be enough for six full time people. Uh, so this would bring in probably just a little over 600,000. So hopefully we can still get six with it and all maybe some supplement from our other levies for the foreseeable future, five to ten years maybe, uh, before we have to make an adjustment to it. And adjustment from there maybe who knows what. You know, maybe we just can't get by with the six, we have to add a few more. Yeah, because once but, again we wouldn't even get the money until the following year anyway. Yeah, so correct. it's we're we're on a year lag. If you the language could be put on the ballot to where it's collected for tax year 2020, which we would start receiving then in April 24. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, and then to kind of draw a little comparison while I did some research, uh, like the Village of Waynesville with their uh, police officers, 
Now granted, you know, Village of Waynesville is smaller in tax base because it's just a community, it's just a village. Um, their seven mill levy uh, generates, I'm speaking raw, raw numbers, rough numbers here, because I don't have them right here in front of me. Uh, do you remember I told you yesterday, Daryl? Was it 300 You said 300 uh, $350,000. Yeah. Uh, now, in comparison, what they're supplementing that right now until they get the replacement of the seven mills is, to, I think, the latest officer that they brought in full time, again, because they can't get any more part time help because all part time is you know, going full time somewhere else, uh, is out of their general fund. And their general fund, with their three quarters of a percent income tax, is generating them seven hundred thousand dollars. So, in essence, that's their seven mil with the replacement is half of what. If we wanted that amount of money, we would have to run. How am I saying this? Fourteen. Seven mills, three hundred fifty thousand. We would have to, we would have to be somewhere up around ten, given the population. Yeah, I think what I was looking at is maybe with everything that they were spending. Uh, yeah, I don't know, what did I say yesterday? For some reason I was thinking okay. about fourteen. Mills. Just think fourteen because the renewal, I mean the replacement levy that they've got on, according to the mm -hmm. board of elections, is supposed to take in like. Five hundred and forty-eight thousand. If I remember right, I just saw it on the other day because I was looking to see what was on the ballot. And that was yeah. for the village. So I guess if they were in our shoes and they wanted the money that we need, then they would be asking for like fourteen mills, where we're you know we can do it for two mills. Yeah, bigger so, population. So so let's let's work to keep this thing at least on the ground. Uh, I mean, I'm fine with with going forward. I don't want to, because it's kind of like when my kid slap or when my, my mom would slap me and be like, "No means no," you, you know. But but at the same time, it's like, well, let's adjust our ask a little bit. Let's let's go back with with more education. I think we, I, I had a false sense of security last time. I I just I was shocked that that it didn't pass. That the both of them didn't pass. Um, you know, so so if we really do apply in the next three months, four months, five months, we hit it hard, and I, I think we can pull it off. But but we've really got to work it. And honestly, I mean, if if it if the voters reject it again, and not to say we haven't already, but but we've got to do some serious soul searching. Because well, where do we go from there? Because if, if we have this conversation, say, well, let's fire it up again for the spring. You know, assuming well, I'm here at that time, I'm going to say, hell no. Is there a way to also get people to understand that we as a community have an obligation to people that don't live here as well? So if I go to Dayton and I have a heart attack or a car accident, I don't want to wait 10 minutes for somebody to come help me. You know, yeah. it's the same. We yeah. owe that to each other. Yeah. Well, well, well and, and, and to that point, I mean, it's a domino effect to where, you know, if we don't do our part and we're, we're pulling from Clear Creek and then they have to pull from somebody else and they have to pull from somebody else, like eventually we're going to run out of good, good the, pull, the pull yeah. end is going to run out. Yeah. 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 The rope is going to I'm familiar out. with this game. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. All right. Well, that's, um, my last two senses, when you compare these two numbers here, I gotta pull back up here again. We're not doing our part because we got $294 million worth of residential property value and we only got $14,000 worth of commercial. We don't have a very good balance. Yep. Uh, so, I mean, we're, it's made us unique. Mm -hmm. It's made us very popular. Great place place to live. <laughs> I made uh, that comment when we was at the firehouse. But with forty-five, <laughs> but with but, forty-five square miles of area in Wayne Township, you know, is there not a place that we could put, you know, 
someplace where we could get a little bit of commercial? We got Bentleys coming in, the Possum Resort. Yeah. Yeah, well, and, and the, ba the yeah. families will help out because you're going to extend. You'll be surprised how much percentage that's going to jump that class. <laughs> that well, yeah. Huh? Uh, will it jump it a lot? You think? I mean, three, more than what yeah, you would three, think. If you, is this part of a three million dollar? You think? Invest three million dollars. Two, million million? Yeah. Oh. two, three, four, five. Probably it needs two anymore. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I mean, yeah, that's I can bet it's five or six million dollars. Yeah. Look at yeah. the house. The biggest thing was that. I, I was just getting ready to say that. that. How much do you think? How oh, much? Oh, that's forty-eight thousand square feet. You're extending the utility out, though. Yeah. If you extend those utility out, that's why single phase goes down through seventy-three. Yeah. There's no three phase out there until you get over to Township Line Road. So now you're bringing that three phase out. Yeah. And for whatever reason, if it connects down that way to be able to get the tie circuit tie at some point. Um, you also, to be honest with you, I mean, looking at the future of everything, Honda plant's going in, and it's not that far away. It's not that far away being built in right now. I just drove 71 just last weekend, and it is bumping. We, AES got the rights to be able to bring in transmission into there and stuff like that. So once that facility is built with over 2,000 people going to be working they in it. about the battery plant? Yes. There's, there's then building, it's going to breed out to everywhere else. So as that builds, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, as that builds, it's going to continue to put pressure over here to, for us to for our land and stuff like that. So you're going to see, like I said, with the with the lines that are going out there with transmission, and then we got to build the distribution system where we've already bought land for substations out there to build that to anticipate the residential growth, the commercial growth to support that as well. And that's not that's what twenty five minutes away. Yeah, it's well, right can, there. I can tell you something's going in at Wilmington Road in seventy one. That comes in. Oh yeah, ranch. yeah. And the lady pretty much told me it was none of my business right now, but she was asking for records requests. So. And that's right there down by us. We're just south of us, right? I mean, huh? it's, it's, it's all right Washington there. Township. Well, you got to think the next exit yeah. is um, you go past the bridge, yeah. and that was and then that's your that's your big bugs right there. That's so boom, there's another one, another one coming in. Right. And then think about 73 and, and 71. That's starting to get developed a little bit. And it's going to get could continue to grow too. That's going to explode in the next five years. I think it is too. Yeah, I, think, I think we got yeah, to, we really got to think about being planned and ready because. Candace Miller. You know Candace Miller? Yeah, I mean. I get these every I get these every day, and there's there's two or three of them a day, sometimes four days, seven days a week. Uh, yeah, here's one. Uh, oh wow. Yeah, they're looking thirty acres, mm -hmm. uh, two hundred fifteen thousand square feet. Fifteen megawatts. Yeah, I mean, nice. I mean these are uh, some of these are national, so some of them are right here in Pearl Island, but you know. We can't even respond to them and say that we have anything, even the even the smallest. But uh, I mean, there's there's a, there's a boat of them. Most of them, they want something. They they want it now. And as they're coming through, they're going up and running. But like right now, they're wanting uh, they're wanting to be in the fourth quarter of 23, and then that full rolling uh, production by you know 12 to 18 months after that. If we, if we want to stop band-aiding the situation, we want to solve this, then why don't we form some type of economic development task force, set up some residents, set up some businesses, set somebody up for the chamber, you know, truly go through and set up some a, a group to advise and inform and say, hey, what does commercial activity, what does industrial activity in Wayne Township look like? No, we, we, we know the places we've carved out for it, but, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, what does a reasonable, acceptable vision for the future look like? And, and let's start take, taking the steps to get there. I mean, you know, we, we have these opportunities that, that, that come through and that's going to be your key because, like I said, it's a, it's supporting structures to that quantum right. plant that are going to be that will bleed out over to us, and that's what we you know. And people are going to sell their land. I mean, it's coming, right? I mean, it's just and and and, and truly, it's, it just takes the the minds to be set to that direction, 
Well, the Lemay property is supposed to be partial. Um, yeah. In, yeah. It's supposed to be industrial. They're at old 73. Industrial residential. It's a village. I know it is. It's a village. You're thinking of it. We can fix that five. Yeah. yeah. Very little bit, yeah. <laughs> but you would think the school would want to participate in this too, because they are gaining kids from the Clear Creek subdivision. And that one big one's funny. Oh, yeah. Well, you're correct, because that's, yeah, that's another, another issue, yeah. Mm -hmm. you're right. They build a new school that's not big enough. That's mm -hmm. what I've heard, yeah. So I would think they want to participate in some review of that. But I would yeah. think the village would want to. The chamber should be involved in it. And some residents. Just, you know, I, I think it's. What does it look like? I, I don't know. I don't have the answers. I don't either. You, you know, but I guess we have a lot of smart people in the township that probably could. I think so. I mean, there's, you know, I mean, talking anything from down downtown Main Street of Waynesville mm -hmm. to all about, you know what I mean? I know Troy's going through the process right now. They, I know they moved the poles and wires out of the main main drag, moved it offside, and then they cleaned up the the, the area and made it more more available to shop and stuff, more accessible. There's little things like that, but that's also a lot of money too. Yeah. It's a big job. Well, there's grants. There's 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 money that are out there, but 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 again, you know, it, it's. Where none of those things will ever manifest or ever materialize if there's not a group that sits down to say, this is what we want, this is the ideal, this is what we're aiming for, and this is what we're going to build towards. Otherwise, it, it's never going to happen. Yeah, because you're looking at the chamber, you're looking at merchants associations for ways of talking about the village manager, talking about everybody that's there. And the problem is I don't see everybody getting together at all at one time. You know, we just, it's always been parcels around. For whatever reasons, it, you know, whether somebody had fights in the past or didn't yeah, do this over here. Yeah, it's all a little thing. I mean, it, it happens, correct. but it's, it's trying to get them all together in one group would be good at some point. Yeah, so at least get a representative from each or get a task force together or some type of, you know. <coughs> I don't want to leave that whole one because they got this industrial park. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. I mean, I mean yeah. look at this. I mean, yeah. that, that's. That's an industrial area. Some nice commercial or whatever you want to call it. 100%. So, so it, it, it's there, but but I think, you know, you also have the parks. You know, we can think about the parks and recreation as well. I mean, there, and then you get the bike path. I mean, there's a, a whole variety of. Scott's like me. <laughs> Scott told me he wanted to, to put in a pool, a community Ooh. pool. I think it's a splash pad myself, yeah. but. <laughs> <laughs> My lifeguard days are long gone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's end the work session. I will draft something up and okay. have it for the board for next meeting. Uh, and again, until, you know, we got two more resolutions, I think, before you actually physically put something in the house. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. We don't have, yeah. I won't be mad at anybody if they say no. And if you don't feel like you can support it, I mean, it's... No, I, I, you know, I, I would say that as a board, we need to be unified. Because the, mo the moment that the public smells well, the, the slightest bit of divide, the slightest bit of, you know, confusion, they're going to say, well, Josh doesn't even think they should do that. Josh doesn't even think they need that money. You know, I, and, and, and that, that's... I want a united front. You know, I, I, I want us to agree. I want us to go forward, and, and but but I also want us to be cognizant of what the future looks like if they say no again, because that is damn realistic. All right. Any executive session? No. I make a motion to adjourn at eight twenty p.m. I'll second. All in favor? Yeah, 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 yeah.